Hi there. In today's video, we are going to see how we can leverage GitOps for testing. Now, GitOps is a principle which is quite popular where we are using Git as a source of truth and placing all our configuration files, application files, infrastructure, code related files in a GitHub repository. And then we use tools like Argo CD and Flux to sync those codes and those configurations to our cluster. So that's automatic and this ensures that whatever is present in Git is synced across your cluster. So here is where your Git is the source of truth. So in this video, we will be using GitOps for testing and we will do that using TestCube as well as Argo CD. So for that, you need obviously a Kubernetes cluster where you will configure TestCube and configure the TestCube agent. On the same cluster, we would install Argo CD as well. Now, I will not go into the installation of Argo CD. You can refer to the documentation, which is fairly straightforward. Uh, once you have Argo CD installed, you can, if you if you are running it on a local machine, you can simply port forward it and access it on localhost like we are doing here. And this is what you will see once you have logged into Argo CD. So let us start with the actual process. So in this case, what we'll be doing is we would be creating a few test workflows. We would take these workflows and put them in Git repository. Then we will configure Argo CD to sync this particular repository to the cluster. We will also be creating a job or a post sync hook, which will basically trigger the test workflows after the sync has successfully completed. So to start with, the first step is creating a test workflow. So, you know, you can go to your test cube dashboard, click on add a new test workflow button. It provides you with multiple options. We will choose start from an example for ease in this video. So if you see here, it gives you a lot of examples to start with. So in this case, you see we have case example here and this is the YAML spec file for it. So what we'll do is we'll take this entire content and then we'll create a new YAML file where we'll simply paste this content and save it. So we are basically creating a YAML file based on the specification that is present here. So in this video, we would not be using only K6. We will be creating a playwright as well as a postman test workflow as well. So we just take these, this content and we'll create three separate YAML files, one for K6, one for playwright and one for postman. Now, once these files are ready, what we will do is we'll go ahead and configure a GitHub repository where we will upload all these YAML files. So in this case, we have already done it. So if you navigate to the test cube examples repo, you will find an Argo CD folder. Now within this, you can see that we have the three YAML files that we created, which is for K6. This is the exact thing that we got from this dashboard. Similarly, we have created it for playwright and we have created it for postman as well. So at this point, we have three test workflows that are created. We have a repository and a folder where these are configured. And then we will go ahead and create an Argo CD application, which will basically sync the contents from this folder to the target cluster. Now, like I said, in the beginning, we don't want only the YAML files or test workflows to be created on the cluster. We also want these workflows to be executed once they are synced. So to do that, we have to create something known as a post sync hook in Argo CD. So if you see here, we create a job and we define a couple of annotations. So we create a hook and this is a post sync hook, which means this hook will be triggered after the sync is successful, which means when all the YAML files from the GitHub repository are synced to the cluster successfully, that's when this hook will be triggered. And then we also define when the hook will be deleted. So when the hook is successfully executed, that's when this hook will be deleted as well. Uh, so apart from that, what we do is we also uh, specify the commands or the actual process that needs to execute when the hook starts. So in this case, we define the container. Uh, we name it text execute test workflows. We provide the image for the test cube CLI. And then we configure an API token an environment ID, organization ID, and the root domain. Now, all of these, since these are sensitive details, we would be storing them as secrets in Kubernetes cluster. So we will create a Kubernetes cluster using these parameters. And we will get these parameters from the test 
Cube dashboard itself. So if I go here, I navigate to organization management and then I go to API tokens. And when I go here, I can click on add a new token, give the token a name, define the expiry date, and then it will generate a token and give that to me. Apart from that, we also need the environment and organization ID. So if this is the environment, let me go to environment settings, scroll down and this is what it is. So if you see, this is the org ID for my organization and this is the environment ID for my environment. So I take these three and I create a Kubernetes secret using these three items. And to do that, it's fairly simple. You know, I create, I just execute this command, kubectl create secrets and I give generic, we provide a name for the secret and define how, from where the secret has to be created. So we are defining from literal API token. I copy the API token that was generated from test cube. Similarly, the environment ID, the organization ID and the root domain. Now, once this is done, uh, the secrets would be created on your cluster and then this job would be able to run. Uh, lastly, we define the command, which is what ac what actually we want the post sync hook to execute. So in this case, we set the context using the API token root domain org and environment ID. And then we simply write the test cube CLI command to execute these test workflows. So you have basic K6 workflow, basic playwright and postman workflow with this command. So this is the job.yaml that we have created. So at this point, we have the workflows in place. We have the GitHub repository in place. Now let us go ahead and create it in the Argo CD as well. So once you log into your Argo CD dashboard, you will land on this homepage and we'll click on create application to create a new application and it will ask to create an application. So you provide a name for it. The project name will be default. Uh, sync policy will keep it as automatic, which means every time Argo CD detects a change in the GitHub repository, it will automatically sync the changes to the cluster. So we'll keep it as automatic. Rest everything we'll leave as it is. We don't need to change any configuration for this. And then we need to provide the repository URL where it is configured. So we'll come back to the test cube examples repo. We'll copy the URL. We'll give it here and then we need to define the path where the workflows are which will be synced to the cluster so in this case it, these are placed in the folder argo cd so we provide that as name and then we need to define the target cluster where you want these yaml files or workflows to be synced so we choose the default cluster that we have uh, and also we need to provide the namespace where these workflows will be executed now, since these workflows are created in test cube, we have the agent running in test cube namespace. We provide the namespace to be test cube. Lastly, it gives you some options to configure the directory where you can include and exclude items from the repo. So in this case, we will exclude the MD file. So if you notice the Argo CD folder, uh, we actually have a readme.md file here. And we basically are telling Argo CD that, hey, don't include this particular file when you are syncing it to the cluster so we have excluded dot md files this looks great and we go ahead and create the application now the moment i do it you will see the application is created when i click on it it's it will show the status as syncing and it says that auto sync is enabled now if you see these are the three workflows that were present in the github repository which will be synced to our cluster and this is the job that we wrote to execute the test workflows so if i go to my test cube dashboard to validate if these were created now if you see i have a basic k6 workflow the playwright and postman and if you see the k6 workflow has actually succeeded so if i come back here and let us open the status of the job that is running I click on logs and if you see here, it has exactly done that. So it is first cloning the GitHub repository and then it is using the, the workflow file that we have given. So it has done that. And then now it is executing the test 
using the single worker based on whatever configurations that we had defined. So you see here, K6 was successful. And similarly, one by one, it would be doing different tests. So now it is executing the playwright test and the same status can be observed on the dashboard as well. So if you see here, the test has successfully executed and I can go back to the Argo CD dashboard and it says that this playwright test has also passed and now it is running the postman test workflow which has also passed as well. So now if you see it has successfully synced these three YAML workflows, the test workflows to our cluster. Uh, all of them were executed successfully. So I have all three of them over here. And if you see the sync status is okay everywhere. Now to really see GitOps in action, like we said, you know, it ensures that whatever is present in your GitHub repository is synced successfully to your cluster. Right now, if you see everything is sync okay and everything is in green, let us just go ahead and delete one of the workflows from here. So we go ahead and give the name and delete the workflow. So the moment I do it, Argo CD will know that something is not right. So it clearly says that, hey, something is not right. I cannot seem to find the basics, basic K6 workflow not present here. And then what it will do is it will automatically start syncing this and I would be able to, so see it has given an error over here, which means that Argo CD knows that there is an error over here and the moment I click on it and give sync, it will now start getting the workflow again. So now it has got the K6 workflow again here, the job will execute and now you'll see everything is successful. So if I come back here, if I refresh it, I will see that I again have the K6 workflow ready here and this is what it is. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, we saw how we can use Argo CD to leverage GitOps based testing for your Kubernetes cluster. For more details, do check out our blog post on this.